this is an overview flowchart of the timer pros models and schedule model here. What we're doing here is we're assuming you start out with a corporate planning or ERP application. That's where they're going to develop the schedule to go down the line, along with the specific options that may go on to each model that's going down the line. So each individual build going down the line can have its own set of options on it here. Uh, over on the left hand side here, we actually have all the multiple models that can go down the line and the items in the light blue that you see here, those would be the individual options that are available. Not every option is going to be used on every build, obviously, but a certain combination of options might be used on each particular build. From that, we're going to bring together the schedule and the, all the details about all the options that are possible in the models going down the line. And we're going to actually develop the actual work content by station in the production build sequence. So in other words, there's a certain sequence of the models going through the line, and we're going to present that to you in these Yamazumi charts down here. That's going to show you these are going to be the individual build items as it progresses down through the line here. We're then going to provide you with an Excel issue report here. That's a very easy way. It's going to summarize for you in Excel all the issues that exist with the current schedule, the sequence in the schedule, and the models and the options are required in each build as it goes through the assembly line here. This is going to be one report that's going to summarize everything that's wrong in the current schedule and option mix here. And then we're going to give you a tool in Timer Pro to allow you to take proactive action to eliminate the issues before the production starts. And you'll see in the subsequent videos here how each of these steps are processed.